Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be talking about a couple of my cactus plants. So as you can see here there is a space where there should be a cactus plant. Now I've been inspecting my plants and I've come across a couple with the dreaded mealy bug. So let's take a look. Right so if you look very carefully on the surface of the top dressing you can see what is a mealy bug. It's blending in very well with the Kyadama stones and clays and it's just starting to move around now and I think that's because I'm shining an LED light source onto it just to light it up so you can get a better view of the mealy bug. Now prior to me just doing this short video of the mealy bug I had got a tool and inspected all the way around the top dressing and particularly near this plant label area was an absolute infestation of mealy bugs just sat on top of this top dressing in a big group. Now I've been round and I've squashed most of them so I thought before I'd finish I'd do a video and do a quick shot of the mealy bugs and they're actually moving a bit slowly at the moment but if you get them on a flat surface they're actually quite fast at walking. Now I believe this mealybug infestation was already on the cactus plant and I talk a little bit more about this later on in the video but this cactus plant I've only had a short while and I originally did an unboxing video for this one which I have actually gone back and taken a look at. So I believe from looking at my previous video that this cactus plant didn't go through the process that I adopt now, which is to thoroughly bare root and thoroughly wash and disinfect the cactus plants before I repot them up. So this one went missed and I believe the infestation has occurred because there were mealybugs within the root ball itself. So we're going to thoroughly investigate the extent of this mealybug situation. So this is my Mammillaria melanocentra, subspecies Rubra grandis, which I bought back in May 2020. And it was repotted and put into fresh soil mix and topped with Kyadama. But as we go on to see later on in the video, the reason why this infestation of the mealybugs has happened is because I didn't actually bare root or clean this cactus before I potted it up. Now when I looked at it, it looked okay and it didn't seem to have anything wrong with it. But as you know, with cactus plants, they have lots of gaps and crevices for bugs to hide in. So as I was checking the cactus plant today, I just noticed a cluster of these lumps on the surface of the top dressing. And as I looked closer, it was obvious to see that it was just an infestation of mealybugs. So I've got another cactus plant here, which was from the other gap on the shelf. And this one is a Thelocactus conotelos v. auranticus. And this one I've only had since early October 2020. So as I was doing my inspection, I noticed a couple of mealy bugs crawling around in between the axles at the base of the turbicles, which is inside in between those little gaps down there. So I don't think this one's got anything wrong with the roots. I can't see any mealy bugs crawling around the rocks. So I'm just going to keep an eye on this. And I've put on some alcohol and I sprayed it with water as well. Because obviously I'm not watering the cactus at the moment. So I don't want it to get too damaged from being a bit dehydrated. So I spray misted with water before I added some alcohol. And then I put some pest spray on as well. So I'll monitor that one over the next coming days to check for further little bugs should they appear. So this is the one here that's got the majority of the mealy bugs. So it just goes to show that when you receive a new cactus plant, never take it at face value and always thoroughly inspect the cactus plant. And don't do what I did and just pot it straight up and think it's going to be fine because it won't. So... As time's gone on, I've adopted a new procedure and that's a case of washing the cactus and disinfecting it before potting up. 
So in the last six months since I've had this cactus, I've now experienced far less bugs and pests on any of my other cactus plants. So this one, I have no choice but to take it out of the pot because as I was moving around with my tool and moving the stones, it just makes the mealy bugs fall into the gaps. So this is why it's very important at this time of the year to keep inspecting your plants because they might look fine but once you get closer in and have a good look, sometimes you can find those pests and bugs lurking. Now I've gone through all of my cactus plants. There was the odd two that had a few mealy bugs and obviously they've persisted on this one and gone unnoticed by me. So as the days and weeks go on, I keep checking and eventually you get rid of them all, but it takes a little while. So this battle I have currently with these mealybugs and indeed spider mites is only happening because I've bought so many cactus plants over the last year. So this is going to be a complete soil change for this cactus plant and because it's in the dormant season I'm not going to be getting it wet if I can help it. So this hasn't been in its pot for that long only since May. It's a relatively new cactus. It's a shame that I've got to disturb it already but we have no other option. So I don't think they would have done a vast amount of damage in such a short amount of time but you never know. So I'm definitely not leaving this one as it is. So let's get all of this mixture off. And the roots look fine. They look like they've started to stretch out and they have lots of little fuzzy bits coming off of the roots. So that's a good sign that it was starting to settle in and expand its roots. Because it was only May when I got this, it would have had quite a bit left of the growing season to develop its roots. And you can see how far down they've gone. So if I was to leave this cactus over the winter in this state, I would surely end up with a severely sick cactus by next spring. Or they would have gone down deep into the roots, if they were the root mealies, and just destroyed all of the roots. So this is the kind of job you really can't leave unattended. You have to get straight to the matter. So as I'm taking the soil off the roots, um, I can now compare this to when I unboxed it in my previous video and I can tell now because of how congested this root system is and I can see the other soil media here that I definitely didn't bare root it. So let's take a closer look at the base of the cactus plant now. So there we go, look at all of those mealybugs sat right around that base of the cactus plant. So that's hidden well away from sight that you can't see as you look at the plant in its pot with its top dressing around the neck of the cactus. So all of those have gone unnoticed and just sat there. So let's zoom in and take a closer look. So there we go, you can see there's lots of different sizes there so they're all at different stages of development but rather large. So the biggest ones there that I can see with the naked eye are probably about four millimetres long. So this is going to be a job where I'm going to have to wash this cactus off now. So I'm going to have to submerge it into the water to clean off all of these mealy bugs. So this is quite bad and as I said the amount of mealybugs bugs you see here was probably similar to the amount that I saw sat on top of the top dressing when it was in the pot. So since I bought this cactus, I have bought other cactus plants from the same cellar at a later date throughout the year and I've had similar problems. So I'm quite confident in telling you that these mealy bugs actually came with the cactus plant. So they've sat there unnoticed and then began to breed as the temperature has got warmer. So what I just want to show you quickly next is how easy it is to 
get these mealy bugs um, if you go like this they just completely just squash and they turn into like a green mush and trust me they might look like they don't do a lot but once they start moving around and walking especially on a flat surface they can walk surprisingly fast so all the other cactus plants that I've bought from this cellar at a later date I've thoroughly disinfected and cleaned and I've had no further problems. Right, so let's get this washed off. So I'm just putting some of the alcohol straight into that centre bit there just to try and help kill off any that are hiding. Now I'll let that sit for a few minutes until I rinse it off. So unfortunately I would reuse this soil mixture but because it's got all the mealy bugs and bits in there this is going straight in the bin to avoid any reinfestation. So if you've watched my previous videos you've probably seen me do this before. I've got some water here and I've actually made it slightly warmer than usual. And add a drop of washing up liquid. And then I'm going to add just one drop of this cinnamon essential oil. So this is the process then that I follow now with pretty much all of my cactus plants. So in the last few months this is what I've been doing with all of them. Because I've been receiving quite a lot of cactus plants um, with pests and bugs. I've really had to step up the mark in trying to get rid of them as best as I can and this seems to work really well and if it doesn't get every single bug or pest it pretty much kills most of them off and it makes the battle against them a hell of a lot easier. So when you have mealy bugs and indeed spider mites just the first application of treatment is never going to be enough because obviously some of the eggs or when they're in a larval stage can be repellent against any action that you take against them. But cinnamon essential oil is meant to be able to penetrate the egg casing or when a mealy bug is in its larval stage to actually kill those off as well. But in between I would suggest if you have a heavy infestation just to keep on top of it and spray it with a pest spray every two weeks. So while this one's soaking, I would just want to talk to you about the other cactus plant that we took a look at earlier on in the video. Now if we look at the shape of the turbicles, which are these green protrusions, so these ones are like a pyramidal shape, and because they go deep down in between each gap, is the axle which is the base of the turbicle and in between those gaps they're so tightly together that it's virtually impossible to get right down into those tiny little crevices and these kind of cactus plants are very difficult to keep on top of any pests so I think that's been the case with the other cactus is perhaps they got missed because they're so deep down into these cracks that they really can hide very well. So even in the last two months I've had this, a mealybug has appeared. So these kind of cactus plants, if you have any like this, just be extra vigilant when you're checking them because you really do need to get right up close to your cactus plants. And I always use an LED light as well. So if you've got an LED torch or some form of LED bright white light, get right in there with that light and it takes away all of the shadows. So I suggest thoroughly checking these kinds of cactus. And a lot of the mammalaria are like this as well with these turbicles, this kind of shape. Whereas this isn't a mammalaria, this is a thelacactus. And I'm going to be leaving this cactus plant in its pot because I couldn't see signs of an infestation and I just think it was a few stray mealybugs. 
So this is what we want. These roots are really now loosened up with all that soil. So I can really get in there now and comb these roots out. Now we will get some roots that will break off because that's inevitable. Um, so we're going to comb out the roots. So as you might have already realised, I am doing this in December. So this is in the UK and we're in the dormant season now. But because this is a heavy infestation of mealybugs, I don't have much choice. So I'm over at the sink now and you can see these mealybugs have all turned to green mushy pulp. So any that were still alive in there have now sort of died off. So it's just a case of cleaning it off under the water now just to get off all of this gunk. So this rinsing and the washing helps to get rid of most of the bugs, if not all of them. But especially the eggs and the larvae and the tiny little yellow nymphs when they hatch out. So here's the cactus now, fully washed and the roots have all been combed out. So I've tried to get as close down into this gap here where the roots meet the cactus. I did have a cut here that pierced the skin and it's exuding that white substance there. So if you do have any cactus that do this, don't panic. Just don't get it onto your skin because it could irritate you. But that will just heal over and dry over itself. So this is how I dry them very quickly. This is if you just don't want to leave it to dry overnight or for a few days. This works just as well for me and I've had no problems doing this with any of my other cactus plants. So it just takes off all the excess water and just speeds up the drying. Okay, so you get all the dried up bits of roots that will fall off, but that's fine. Let's give that a good shake, just to get off all these straggly ends. Okay, so all those little bits that are falling off is what you don't want sat in your pot, rotting away. So make sure you can get off as much as the excess bits that are just going to snap off naturally as you just tease the roots. That way it will be a lot healthier. So it's time to repot the cactus now and just an important thing to mention is I'm going to be using this pot that it originally sat in so make sure if you're going to use the same pot that you thoroughly clean it out. So here I'm just using a toothbrush and I just put a dab of just household bleach onto the brush the tiny bit of water just to help mix it and scrub it out thoroughly and rinse very well. Because mealybugs can hide underneath your pots and cling on to the plastic edges and they don't even need to be on a plant to survive so for some months they can persist living in cracks and crevices and reinfest your plants. So I'm just going to line the pot now and this is the same mix that I've been using for a little while now so it's got the Douglas fir bark in the hair but just enough there to give it that um, moisture attentive aspect that the cactus would need for a short amount of time but being very well draining So let's fill in the cactus. So just a bit of information now about using a mineral based potting substrate. Now when I found the mealy bugs you will remember they were sat on top of the chiodama on the actual top dressing itself 
and concentrated around the neck of the cactus. I can't help thinking that they've tried to escape the root ball which would have contained the previous grower's soil media to get away from my mineral based potting mix. So here we are, that's finished now and for the time being I'm not going to be putting any top dressing on just in case I do have to remove it from the pot. So I will be keeping a weekly check on my plants as I do. And um, I did check all my plants um, a week ago and the week before, but these things can just suddenly appear out of nowhere. So it's a good idea to keep checking your plants on a daily, if not weekly basis. Thank you for watching.